Hello friends, welcome to our Codemap channel. Uh, today we will discuss about dual distance in June long challenge. Now we are going to understand the question and then we will discuss how to solve it, which algorithm will be used on that in details. Yeah, but I will not discuss the solution. I will give you hint. So without any delay, we will start dual distance. Okay. So first of all, we will read the question. Given a tray with n nodes, answer Q queries of the following type: A, B, where A is not equal to B, which asks you to calculate from I to I equal to one to n minimum. Of distance i comma a and distance i comma b, where distance x comma y is the number of edges on the shortest path between the nodes x and y in the tree. And uh, yeah, the input and output of this problem are large, so prefer using first input output method. Okay. So it said that it's given a tree with n nodes and uh, Q queries and we have to find out the output of the queries and uh, what is that queries that that is it will give two nodes A and B and we will find out the output of this equation yeah and uh, we will discuss the test case here as it is given uh, 4 to 1 4 to means n and q yeah the first two is test case and then 4 to 4 to is n and q for each test case it will give n and q first and then there are n minus 1 means here 4 is n so n minus 1 equal to 3 so there are 3 u v u v u v and then there is Q lines of queries where Q is 2 so 1 2 and 3 1 is queries I think you all are understand about inputs ok let's discuss the explanation so 4 2 is n and q there are 4 nodes and uh, 2 queries and 1 2 1 is connected to the 2 2 3 2 is connected to the 3 and the 3 4 3 is connected to the 4 let's append uh, yeah. 1 is connected to the 2 2 is connected to the 3 and 3 is connected to the 4 yeah here we draw the trick and uh, we will give output on the queries so first query is 1 2 ok so first query is 1 2 and the equation is and the equation is here that we will check all the node to the a which is the minimum number of edges the shortest path from node i to a and likewise distance from i to b ok so here is equation first so i equal to 1 first i equal to 1 so according to that when i equal to 1 a equal to 1 and i equal to 1 a equal to sorry b equal to 2 so that 1 1 and 1 2 so 
here the minimum is 1 and 1 so here the output will be 0 because there is no uh, there is no edges from 1 to 1 likewise then i for i equal to 2 so for i equal to 2 a equal to 1 so 2 1 here the is number of edges is 1 and i equal to 2 b equal to 2 so here the number of edges is 0 so here also output is for, uh, for i equal to 2 it's 0 now for 3 so for 3 distance between 3 and 1 is 2 means there are 2 paths sorry there are 2 edges and likewise the distance between 3 and 2 is 1 so here the minimum is 1 yeah. and for 4 for 4 yeah 4 and a means 4 and 1 so 4 and 1 there is 3 3 edges and for 4 comma b means 4 comma 2 that is two edges so the minimum is two so here it will be two and after the sum it will give the output three so yes i think you got the question and you are now understand how to solve it okay so yeah and the another another is 3 1 so if we solve for 3 1 3 1 we'll check like this for 1 for 2 for 3 for 4 and after that we will sum okay let's discuss about it for 3 1 means 3 comma 1 sorry means i a means 1 comma 3 and 1 comma 1 so here 1 1 have no path so the minimum will be 0 likewise for 2 2 comma 3 and 2 comma 1 here the number of path is minimum path is 1 like here 3 comma 3 and 3 comma 1 so here also the number of path is 0 for 4 comma 3 here the number of edges sorry the number of edges and uh, 4 comma 1 4 comma 1 have there are 3 edges and uh, 4 comma 3 have 1 edges so I will write 1 and after sum you will get 2 so you can see this is the correct output and this is also correct output as it's set 3 and 2 like if we draw this tray it will give the 6 out 6 is output ok so now we can do one thing here that we can use bfs for find the number of paths from x to y node which is the shortest path and then we can sum it this is the <coughs> hint and yes i think you many of us will get the solution or if you not then uh, you can uh, comment below okay 
so yeah if you like the video then subscribe it if you don't understand anything and then you can comment below then which part you are struggling and yes don't forget to subscribe and uh, yeah happy coding